everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm getting started in the kitchen today and I just need to unload the dishwasher and take care of a few breakfast dishes. And we've had a break in the rain but the weather is still too cold for most of the spring cleaning on my list. And the longer days boost our energy and cleaning in the spring is a productive way to burn off that extra energy. And a clean and organized home reduces stress and creates a healthy environment. And we're more productive when we can easily find things and put them away. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Randy and I live in Southern California. California with my husband and our two fur babies Ace and Callie and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation and I share tips and tricks that I use to maintain a clean and tidy home and I post new videos every Friday so if you enjoy this type of content be sure to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I try to combine zone cleaning tasks in the kitchen with everyday cleanup. If I can do a little bit at a time, then I don't have a big day of cleaning ahead of me. And these drawer inserts hold all of the cleaning brushes that we use in the kitchen. And I sanitize the sponge and the brushes in the dishwasher, and we need a clean place to keep them. Even in the hot time, you and I can weather any storm. I got started and remembered that I wasn't wearing my apron today and I've had this apron forever. It's a souvenir from one of our trips to Mexico and I would get it out during the holidays to protect my clothes when we hosted at dinner. And I've been trying to get in the habit of using an apron when I'm in the kitchen and I even put up a hook so that I would remember to put the apron on when I go into the kitchen, but I still walk right by it almost every time. And I only remember that I need my apron when I start splashing water.
When we started switching over to glass food storage containers, I started using these OXO pop-up containers for the cleaning supplies. And the only place that this tall container will fit is under the sink, and it's the perfect size to hold all of the dishwasher pods. And the top keeps out the moisture and the air, and the quick release makes it easy to access the pods. The bottom of the microwave is something that I clean when I clean the stove, but the filter above the stove needs to be cleaned on a regular basis, and the easiest way to keep the filter clean is to run it through the dishwasher. It's been a minute since I deep cleaned the stove top, and cast iron really shouldn't be washed with soap, and having a light coat of oil on the iron provides a protective barrier. But to save a little time, I'm going to wash the grates in the dishwasher. It's something I only do a few times a year, and I'll soak the smaller parts in the sink with hot soapy water. I need to remove all the burners and knobs to clean out all the gunk that collects underneath, and most of the burners were in pretty good shape, <laughs> and it was easy to see that the front burner is the one that I use the most, and because stainless steel scratches easily, I can't use anything abrasive to clean it, but I always like to start with a little soapy water to help loosen things up. And I used a soft toothbrush to get between the cracks and gently loosen the stuck on grease. And because we have brushed stainless steel, I always try to clean in the direction of the grain. Then everything seems to crumble around you. But the front burner that we used the most took a little bit of coaxing to come clean, and I made a paste with the barkeeper's friend and let it sit while I cleaned the rest of the parts in the sink. Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what is best for you Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you
Even with regular cleaning, gunk still settles into places that a sponge or cleaning cloth just can't reach, and all of these smaller parts had fine details that needed to be cleaned with a fine brush. I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now You said it yourself you'd be breaking every vow while I was spring cleaning on the inside, my husband was working on a few projects outside and while he was out running errands, he decided to pick up lunch and I was more than happy to stop for lunch, but the day was full of interruptions and a project that should have only taken a few hours ended up taking all day and I still wasn't able to finish everything that I had planned to. Of course, as many of you may know, we don't eat processed foods as a rule, but I can't resist the occasional double-double. After lunch, I got back to cleaning and remembered that I should be wearing gloves to protect my hands, and the parts of the stove are made from an assortment of materials from cast iron to aluminum, and because the vinegar will discolor aluminum, I just use dish soap to clean up the parts, and even dish soap can dry out your skin. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust Same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you they're looking for someone like you Cleaning the small appliances in the kitchen was on my list of things to do today, and I usually try to descale the coffee maker about once a month, and the coffee maker has a self-cleaning feature, and I wanted to get that started so the cleaning cycle would be done by the time I finished cleaning up the stove. And to descale the coffee maker, I just fill the machine with equal parts water and vinegar. The barkeeper's friend loosened up all the grime on the stove and it made it much easier to clean and once all the gunk was off, all I had to do was wipe away the cleaner and then I dried it off with a microfiber cloth. I used stainless steel polish for years, but when I started using microfiber cloths, I realized it wasn't necessary and it's much easier to clean with a microfiber and water spots will show up on any shiny or reflective surface. So once the surface is clean, I just use a dry cloth to buff out the water spots. We are dreamers of the Just wait Ooh, wait for us. 
Most of the time I just use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the kitchen. It's non-abrasive and it removes bacteria without chemicals and it saves so much time using one product instead of switching back and forth from one cleaning product to another. When the coffee maker finished its first cleaning cycle, I used the hot vinegar solution to clean up the sink and the vinegar helps loosen any mineral deposits in the coffee maker and then a second brew cycle will flush out the vinegar and any loose deposits. And it's kinda strange, don't even know your name. We have glass tiles on the backsplash and granite countertops, so I need to be careful not to clean the glass with products that can damage the stone. And a damp microfiber cloth easily cleans away the grease and food, and then I can use a dry microfiber cloth to buff out the water spots. And for the countertops, I like to use Methods Granite Cleaner at the end of every day. I added this metal relief behind the stove a few weeks ago and I found a suction hook to hang it on so it's easy to remove and easy to clean. I keep a few things that I use the most on this turntable so that they're easy to reach and it keeps everything together and it keeps the oil and the spice mills from leaking onto the countertop.
Whenever I clean a room, I always go in one direction and make my way around the room so that I finish back where I started. <laughs> it's much more efficient because I'm not retracing my steps, which help to save time and energy. And I always seem to go in a counterclockwise direction, which is surprising because I'm right-handed. But for some reason, I always go to the left. One of the most overlooked things to clean is the cords on the appliances, but they can get pretty grimy too. And I attached a cord wrap to the back of the mixer to keep the cord out of the way when I'm not using it. And I found that it helps to wrap the strap around twice to keep smaller cords secure. One of the fastest ways to clean glass is to use a razor blade to scrape off the glass, but I'm using Barkeeper's Friend this time because it was just closer and it does a pretty good job. Dust in the kitchen doesn't wipe off of surfaces the way it does in the rest of the house. It mixes with grease and sticks to the surfaces so that it needs to be washed off. And these glass containers were starting to look a bit dull, so I just use a damp microfiber cloth to remove the dirt and a dry microfiber to restore the shine. Days pass. 
save a little time, I'm going to put all the parts for the coffee maker and the grinder on the top rack of the dishwasher and then I'll wipe them down before I put them back. <music> Freshly ground coffee beans improve the flavor of coffee, but coffee has natural oils that stick to the grinder and become rancid over time, and that can affect the taste and quality of the coffee, so I try to clean out the grinder when I descale the coffee maker. Coffee grounds tend to splash out of the filter when the coffee is brewing, so I try to rinse out the water tank because if the coffee grounds get into the water intake, it can clog up the machine and affect the performance. I used dish soap to keep the sink clean on the daily, but the barkeeper's friend was still sitting on the countertop, so I decided to use it to give the sink a little extra cleaning. You tell me you're scared. You tell me you're weak. But I know you're strong. What you think And I know it's hard Yeah, I know it's rough But we'll make it through And I'll back you up Putting decorative serving bowls on display gives them a dual purpose, but they can collect a dusty grease that's hard to clean. And since I need to run the dishwasher, now is a good time to clean them. You're afraid. I wish you could see that. I think you're brave. Still 
That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.